I'm officially on my way to the airport to fly to Rome. I cannot believe it. I'm super nervous, excited, anxious, literally every feeling right now. I'm with my parents, they're driving me, and so it's definitely gonna be hard to say goodbye, but definitely looking forward to the next four months in Italy. So I'll see you at the airport. I just arrived at the airport. I have my bags with me and I'm about to go inside, go through security. All together, I have my two big check bags and then my little carry-on that I'm bringing along with the backpack that I'm wearing. Once I landed, the school picked us up in buses and then took us straight to our apartments to go ahead and start moving in. As soon as I got into the apartment, my roommate invited me to come get lunch with her and another girl who she met who was also studying abroad in Rome for the semester but at a different school. So I basically just dropped off my stuff and went straight out of the apartment with them. I just moved into my apartment. It's really cute. I have my roommate from Miami, Sydney here. So we got a double room together and then we are supposed to, I think, have four other roommates. I haven't met any of them. Two of them already moved in and then there's another empty double room. So we don't know who's gonna move in there. But yeah, basically I need to make my bed and then unpack all my stuff. We just got lunch with a girl Sydney had met via Instagram and that was really nice. I'm um, getting to talk to someone who's been here. She came last semester and so that was really fun and now I just have a lot to do before I pass out from jet lag. <laughs> this is my roommate Sydney. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> Sydney and I actually rearranged the entire setup because Basically, it just makes the room a whole lot more open and it makes the outlets in the room a lot more easily accessible. And so my friend Emily, she came to visit us, so I'm just kind of hanging out. So apparently there is a Rome walking tour happening at around 6.30 today and they're going to like take us around the city. So I think we might do that at 6.30 and yeah, hopefully that'll be fun. And then afterwards can grab some dinner and enjoy our end of the first day here in Rome. Now we're at a really cute pasta restaurant, pizza pasta place, kind of near where my apartment is. Or it was like a maybe 10 minute walk. And I'm with my friend Emily and we're meeting a few other girls here. So it should be a fun time. Oh, that looks good. Is that like a smiling or waving? Hey y'all, so. I am back at the apartment after dinner with some other UM girls and it was really good but then afterwards I could not remember where my apartment was and I felt so bad because I was like struggling to look, look around for it and they were like walking with me you know trying to help me out but I like just could not find it and it took me like maybe like 15 minutes of us walking in circles before I could find it but thankfully they were so sweet, they stayed with me the whole time until I found my apartment. And now I've, you know, kept a photo of the address so that I have it. I didn't have the address. The school didn't like give it to me. I think it was just like on a booklet that was here in the apartment. So I needed to write it down before I left, but I just like didn't even think to do that. So future reference, now I know where I live. So hopefully I can find my way back here the next time I have to leave the apartment. But now I'm basically just winding down for bed kind of trying to unpack a little since I didn't really unpack hardly at all today. So I'm trying to unpack some stuff while also just getting ready to go shower and then put on pajamas and go to bed. Only thing is my other roommates mentioned that apparently the shower like water heater is not working. So the water, like the shower is freezing cold. So I'm really not excited about that, but I know I need to shower because it's been 
like probably 24 hours now over that since the last time I would have showered since I was on that flight for such a long time and then been had like a full active day here like I definitely need to shower so but I just don't want to you know get in the freezing cold shower I'm not excited about that but hopefully that goes well and then I can get back to some more unpacking really exciting it's day two here in Rome and we have orientation today over at our university and so Sydney and I are about to go walk over to the school. They're giving out free breakfast this morning and we have to apply for our permit to stay for Italy. And then later in the day, all the U Miami students are gonna come together to have an afternoon orientation. And then hopefully afterwards we can do a little bit of sightseeing. So we're about to head there now. It's of the day, looking warm, cozy, cozy. cute. <laughs> After orientation, a group of us went to a cafe across the street to get lunch, and it was super cute. It was a super fun environment, so I will definitely be going back. Afterwards, we all decided that we wanted to make dinner plans and so we found a really cool pasta restaurant in the area that allowed us to have all 15 of us go there and sit down, have some wine and some really yummy pasta, 10 out of 10 recommend. After dinner, we realized that our dinner place was actually right next to the Spanish Steps and Coliseum, so we figured why not just go see them at night? and it was really beautiful even at night and definitely made me want to come back in the daytime to get some more cool photos but it was just amazing seeing the coliseum lit up at night Thank you so much for watching my moving to Rome vlog. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe because I do have a lot more videos coming in the future. And so yeah, stay tuned.